My name is Lauren Price. I'm a Navy combat veteran from Iraq, as well as a national veterans advocate. Two years ago, I reached out to a stranger asking for some help with a veterans case in California. That stranger was Dennis Lynch. Since then, Dennis has always stepped up to the plate every time I've asked him for help, advice, or insight into veterans issues. Every day I know I can count on Dennis to step in and help us with our mission to help our nation's heroes. I'm about to show you an example of how the mainstream media will absolutely overlook an issue if it means they can make a conservative look like a nut, or a racist, or a right-wing radical. This is the case with Cliven Bundy and the war he has fought against the federal government. For decades, the Bundy family has insisted the Bureau of Land Management has been grabbing up land and placing unfair restrictions and regulations on ranchers in order to push them out of business. I found this to be very interesting and worth further investigation. But I stood alone. I stood alone. The rest of the media was more interested in making Bundy and his supporters look like a bunch of domestic terrorists. The media overlooked the federal overreach. They ignored the tasering of Bundy's sons. Now, I am not here to defend Cliven Bundy or to strike him down. I am here to tell you that what happened in the Nevada desert was nothing like what the media tried to sell the American people. And meanwhile, the big issue remains overlooked. Oh my God. What do you think is going to happen here? Hopefully nothing. They're trying to handle it as peacefully and intelligently as possible, but there's no telling. But hopefully everybody on our side is smart enough to do the right thing and not do anything stupid because there's no reason for anybody to get hurt, to lose their lives on either side. But it's a possibility. Some, it, it, well, they're just on the phone with Metro. Metro has the word to shoot on the people going up to get the cows right now. Okay. I have never confirmed this, but I'm pretty certain that the Bundys had no idea that there was an order to shoot if they went forward. And so I ran the length of five football fields to get down into the wash where the Bundys and other supporters were preparing to go up against the BLM. Our Father in Heaven, we are so grateful for this land. We're grateful as citizens of this country. And we're grateful for the opportunity we have to express our desire to be free. Help us to stand strong. Please help us as we go about this task that we will be safe and that we invoke thy power to defend us. And we ask these things humbly and in the name of thy Son, Jesus. Amen. So the mindset of those in that prayer circle. They were willing to die. I heard it in their voices. I saw it in their eyes. What they do? Nobody cares about your snake in order. And then we'll get some courage and walk up there and ask them to demand that they leave. Are you going to or are we going as a group? A group. As a group. And no man goes alone. Let's go. Let's do it then. Wait, 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 wait. If you move forward, you could be shot. 
There was no one person taking the leadership role. It was just everybody going out and trying to do something for a cause they strongly believed in. Am I allowed to walk on this property up to that fence? I don't do anything you want if you're afraid of being shot. You found yourself as sort of a, a mediator of sorts you know, in a moment here. I'm tired of going to these things and watching Americans at, at war with each other. It's not the way it's supposed to be. Can I talk to you? I have no gun! I am from Fox. I am shooting for Fox News. Can I approach? I do not have a weapon. I do not have a weapon. I'm not. I'm from New York. May I approach so this doesn't end in bloodshed? I do not have a weapon. These people don't want to get hurt. They had sniper rifles on the freeway. They had assault weapons. They had automatic weapons. And as the, one of the former sheriffs from Arizona said, and we had children and women lined up because what, if anybody got hurt, we want to make sure they got hurt first because we want the federal government hurting women and children. Now, right after Harry Reid made those comments, Fox News rushed to defend Bundy and criticize the senator from Nevada. Fox News guest and filmmaker Dennis Lynch, he was present at Saturday's standoff. I was at the front of the front line. I heard nobody say women and children first. Everybody said, let's be peaceful. Mm -hmm. At the same time as I had a sense that it was going to go in the wrong direction, not because of the people on my side, but because of the people on the other side. That looked like Afghanistan. Very clear. Well, Dennis Lynch should really watch Fox News. We were actually strategizing to put all the women up at the front. If they're going to start shooting, it's going to be women that are going to be televised all across the world getting shot by these rogue federal officers. Wow. Seems to me like they got a horrible journalist on the payroll. I think Fox News wants a shootout. I think Fox News wants a shootout at the OK Corral. I don't think they can get enough of this stuff. As far as that sheriff goes and that outrageous statement he said, I did not see that man the entire morning. I did not see one child down in the wash. And you heard it for yourself on this tape. Bundy's son clearly said, we go forward as a group. He never referred to women or children. And that leads to the last point. That's why I went forward. I went forward because I did not want the BLM to feel as if they were being rushed. And so I went peacefully. And they were comfortable with that. At the same time as I wanted the people behind me to realize the fact that the BLM, although the order may have been to shoot, they really didn't want to shoot anyone. And by moving forward and taking that lead spot, my hope was that the BLM would send somebody and take the lead spot. And that's exactly what happened. Let me work with you and you. I'll allow you two to come in with me. You we're not going in, in there. We're, we're not getting right here. No. We're not you got my in word that no one's taking your custody. If in you want to stay there, that's great. Yeah. They're getting your dad you just go top. do your thing. No, they're getting your dad and we'll, make, we'll, we'll make sure that and we're here as a president. some help if they decide that they're going to pull those pants. But I need, it's only going to be Bundy and his son. No, that's no, it. it's the people or not. And you guys need to leave. Okay, we're doing that. No, the But you need to push these people back so they can do it safely. You, back so they can you go leave. Okay. They're going That's to. They're happen. going to. They can't leave if they're okay. engaged. So push them back. Push them back. Push them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm working with you. Push yeah, no, back. I know, I know. Listen, I'm going to yeah. do my job. Push them back. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to do my job. Get them back. I'll work with you. But you got to push them back so these guys can disengage. Okay. My name's Dan Love. I'm the incident commander for this operation. Dan. I'm the head guy in charge. Okay. Your dad's going to need help with this. Okay. So do you or Amy want to come with you? You're not, I'm not going to arrest you. I'll give you my honest word right here. I'm going to walk you in so you can negotiate with your father up top. That's what I'd like. If I come with you. I don't he, know if we have he's a got it on camera I don't right know if we're negotiating. All, all we're doing is doing how to safely remove military. these cattle. You, need to you see what I'm saying? Let's see what he has to say. I'm telling you, you got to push these people back so they can disengage. Let's see what he has to say. You ready? Yeah, are you coming up and over? 
The feds finally gave in. They handed over the cattle, but told Bundy the war was far from over. Thankfully, no person on either side was hurt that day, and that's all I cared about. When we come back, find out how you can get involved with this show. Plus, this. I first saw Dennis Michael Lynch on The Hannity Show on July 4th, a year ago last July. Um, I was memorized by what Dennis had to say. He was on key, he spoke the truth, his video showed exactly what was going on. There was no spin, there was nothing. This man gives you his word that he will work hard and he will never, ever, ever let you down. He promises you he will always fight for America. And when you have someone like that backing you, what else can you say? But as looking towards all the candidates, I don't see another candidate out there that could even measure up to Dennis Michael Lynch. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to my think would be the next president of the United States. Dennis